Heroes of Shadowverse is coming out today, in fact, in a few hours from the time of recording this, and with the dawn of a new set, of course, are three new temporary decks available for trial and also one claimable using a ticket. Which one should you pick out of these three? Natural Dragoncraft, Machina Shadowcraft, Wrath, Bloodcraft. Well, we're gonna have to test to come up with a definitive answer, and if in practice my answer is different from what I come up with in this video, I'll update you guys, no worries, but here are my first impressions. So let's jump into it, but first make sure to like the video and subscribe, it really, really does help out. Now, TLDR, Wrath Bloodcraft, probably the easiest to jump on, Natural Dragoncraft second, and then I would not recommend Machina Shadowcraft in its current state. If that short answer is all you are after, well then, thanks for watching, see you later. <laughs> but let's talk about the details now, so why do I think Machina Shadowcraft is the worst one? Well, it's a strange deck list with no real clear win con, in my opinion. It feels like it's missing a card that maybe could be released in the mini expansion or something to actually enable the deck's game plan, but as it stands, it's very strange. You have to play 10 Machinas in hand to even activate a lot of the effects of the cards in the first place. And then after that, you have to hard Evo Nicola in order to deal the damage, which is two play points for five damage maximum. And it just seems like not that much payoff for all the work you're doing. Out of the legendaries you get, Zebet and Goddess are good, but they're not new. And Aenea and Technolord, while Technolord might be used in many different decks, Aenea in this lackluster archetype, at least on first glance, I would not super recommend it. Meaning I don't think the legendaries carry enough value for you to pick this deck despite its flaws either way. Next up, Natura Dragoncraft. This archetype actually does look like it has some sauce, but this list in particular runs a lot of strange inclusions, and not only that, I think it's also missing way more legendaries needed to make the deck playable on ladder as compared to Wrath Bloodcraft. Only two Natura in peace, two Desert Wanderer, I'm not super sure about that, but they're trying to limit the number of golds in the pre-built, of course. The legendary selection is strange with Terminus and Irma, which I don't know has that much synergy with this. You're gonna need at least two more Valdanes, probably Benevolent Mother as well, which is the new legendary. And depending on how you build the deck, maybe even Kronos too, I don't know, but it's definitely gonna require a lot of work. And like I said, the list is just strange with like Sacred Wingfish and Terminus and stuff. I don't really rate it. And I think to use this as a base to make something playable, it's gonna be a long journey. Finally, Wrath Bloodcraft. I think this seems like the best one for new slash returning players to jump onto. Diabolus, Hedony, Chaotic, Chimera, Rouge, Verte, all good cards, especially Rouge and Verte and Chaotic Chimera, I feel like you can run as one ofs anyway. And not only that, it also gives you Elena Defier of Destiny as a free legendary, which is one of the most important cards in the set, I reckon. It's a new neutral legendary that can be run in many, many different archetypes, even outside of this pre-build itself. And I feel like to make this deck ladder viable, all you really need are two more Elenas and probably two more Diabolises. And then you actually have something that you can win some games with. But those two are probably a must because Diabolus is so strong and Elena gets you Urias, which is the most important card in the deck these days. Probably. And that's why I feel the way I do. That's why I think Wrath Bloodcraft is the choice to make for new slash returning players or even just regular players in general because of the value of Elena Defier of Destiny. But that's just my first impressions. We're gonna have to test it for sure when the actual set comes out. And if my opinions change, like I said, I will update you with a new video. But that's gonna be it for me for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.